Hey you guys, it's Peter and I'm back. Of course I'm back. I'm not going anywhere. I'm YouTube famous always. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm in my office and I have like filmed four videos for all of my different channels and I'm like, I need a coffee now. I want a coffee so bad. Do you guys ever like just like lay out and you're like at home and you're like watching TV and you're like, I want a fountain coke so bad. <laughs> Please, somebody go get me a Dr. Pepper and you realize you're looking at your dog and you're like, PB, here are my keys. Go get me a fountain Dr. Pepper. Please, I'll give you a treat. <laughs> if only dogs could go do stuff for us. I love that Jenna Marbles video. Have you guys ever seen Jenna Marbles video? The Disney princesses. Oh my God. It's like one of my favorite YouTube videos of all time ever in a million years. I love it so much. And um, in there she talks about like the things that, do, that Disney videos teach us. And one of the things that she says in there that's so funny is she's like, Disney videos teach us that um, we are supposed to, what did she say? Like that animals are supposed to be our servants, but also our friends. And I love that so much. Cause like, I always like, I love pee pee so much, but sometimes I'm just like, pee pee rub my feet. <laughs> no, <laughs> and he'd be like this. Can you even imagine? Oh my God, y'all. I'm back, baby. I'm back. Listen, I had to go through some shit. Sometimes you have to go through some shit to get to the other side. Do you ever feel that way? Like, seriously? It's like, okay, I've been through all this shit. I I'm done, right? It's like when you, like, are going on a trip and you, like, are halfway there. It's like a road trip and you're like, shit, like, I totally forgot to bring contact solution, deodorant, whatever. And then you stop at some Walmart on the side and you go buy it and then you're back on the road again. And then you're like, oh, my God, we didn't make hotel reservations. And all of this shit continues to happen, right? And finally, the next day, you're, like, on the beach and you're like, oh, my God, we're here. And, like, all of it is kind of funny now, right? <laughs> like, we're on the other side and it's just funny. Like, I'm on the other side and it's so cool. So, yep, yeah, baby, I'm back. And, you you know it is what it is so anyway um oh lord youtube <laughs> it's so foolish though isn't it i mean i love it so much but it's so foolish at the same time i was sitting at lunch slash dinner what do you call that well you call breakfast and dinner brenner have you guys ever had brenner oh my god i love brenner so much which is like when you like and like mcdonald's has totally killed this with their 24-hour menu where you can get brenner anytime you want <laughs> breakfast dinner but what kills me is like back in the day my mom i would come home from school and then she'd be like i have a surprise for dinner i'd be like oh my god what is it and then it would be like a waffle and like bacon or sausage I'd be like oh my god or like pancakes that look like Minnie, mickey mouse or Minnie mouse <laughs> i liked it being Minnie mouse but anyway obviously Obviously. Um, sometimes with a bow. And uh, so, yeah. So, do you guys ever have Brenner? I love Brenner so much, right? Oh, God. Life. Life is so wonderful. When life is about Brenner and imagining that your dog will bring you a fountain pop. So, anyway, my husband and I were at Brenner tonight, which wasn't really Brenner. It was really Nacho Dinner because it's my cheat day. And if you watch my so called healthy life, which is my new weight loss journey channel, it's, list below, it's linked below. Please go subscribe to it, you guys. I'm like, it's, I'm having such a blast. I have a schedule on there of like every day I do things. So like Mondays is Motivational Mondays. Tuesdays is, I can't remember. Oh, Transformation Tuesdays. Wednesdays is Weight Loss Wednesdays and on and on and on. It's so fun. So it's linked below. Go follow it. It's like a really happy-go-lucky, very positive channel. It's about aligning my body, mind, and spirit. So anyway, that doesn't really matter because today is my cheat day. And so Alex is like, we were supposed to go to Cafe Patish, which is like our favorite restaurant. I was going to get chicken salad, but we didn't. We ended up going to Champs and I got the Mile High Nachos. And when I say Mile High, I mean they are Mile High. And we both got one. We always just both get one. And we, it's so sad. Like when we go there, the waiter's like, Mile High Nachos. <laughs> and we're like, yeah. Um, so I'm sitting there and I couldn't even finish it, you guys, because like I've been doing this like life change, healthy life change. I usually take my shoes off, but right now I'm putting my shoes on. Do you guys want to see my ugly ass shoes I have on today? My clogs, my Birkenstock clogs. <laughs> Woo, she's real high fluting, isn't she? So anyway, um, we're sitting there, we're eating nachos, and he was like, so what are you going to make a video about today? And I was like, I have, like, no idea whatsoever, right? And he was like, well, what do you mean? What's going on? And I was like, nothing, and blah, 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 whatever. And I just was like, I was thinking about making a video about this. And, like, it's so funny, like, when people are like, Alex acts like he can't be bothered on camera. It's because he can't be bothered on camera. Like, Alex doesn't want to be on YouTube. He doesn't know any YouTubers. He's not interested in it. He would rather watch Snapchats all day long of EDM DJs and things that make him laugh. By the way, did you see that Snapchat that I put out last night where I'm like doing the high kick? 
I love that all day long. So anyway, um, it is so funny. Like, I have to tell you guys, I, like, if you have an Instagram account and you try to put out cool Instagram pictures, like, I have so often tried to put out, like, pictures like that. Couture. <laughs> and, like, oh, like, here's a good one. Here's my picture today. Look at that. Ain't she sexy? But anyway, to, you know, and, like, you always want to put out the best picture, right? So I put this video out yesterday. I am not lying to you guys. This video has so far 1,211 views. Let's look at it. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I don't know why that cracks me up. That's what my husband and I do in bed. High kicks and we laugh and we watch Snapchat. Isn't that what life is about? Isn't that what you do? Oh my God. And then my friend Tanya and I, okay, so yeah, last night, so my friend Tanya and I, we drove around and she was like, I was like, what do you want to do? And she was like, let's go to uh, drive around and look at Christmas lights. I was like, well, girl, we already went to the John Deere thing. I filmed that for my video. She was like, oh my God, does everything you do have to be on film? I was like, I don't even have my camera with me. Get over it, Tanya. So funny. Like Tanya is so consumed with this YouTube stuff. She like calls me and she's like, oh my God, did you see this video that so-and-so made about you? Or did you see this video that so-and-so, I'm like, you are more obsessed with YouTube. She's like, I know. I, she's She's like, I've got to get off of it. She's like, I am not healthy enough to be watching these videos. So anyway, we drove around and got fountain pops and we like were watching our um Chris, watching Christmas lights, which were pathetic at best. They weren't even that, I don't know. We were driving by this one, and it had, like, this manger scene. What's that called? The nativity scene. And there was a nativity scene and all this pretty stuff. And, like, and then there was, like, a, there was, like a, a Mickey Mouse, incidentally, like the pancakes. And Tani was like, what does Mickey Mouse have to do with Christmas? And I was like, uh, Mickey Mouse is Christmas Carol. She was like, I know, but it's a nativity scene, and then there's just a Mickey Mouse. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. I'm like... Why are you deciphering the Christmas decorations, Tanya? Like, <laughs> irrelevant. Get over it. They're pretty. She's like, it really isn't that pretty. I go, I know it really isn't. So anyway, then we drove around, and we drove into this town called Noblesville, and we were driving around, and I was like, I think maybe tonight will be my cheat night. And she was like, well, what do you want? And I was like, I want a Jim Dandy. <laughs> she was like, what? Do you guys have Jim Dandies where you live? Okay, Jim Dandy is true story, small town, okay? It is like the cheapest version of Denny's you have ever been to in your entire life, but so good. And the first time I ever went there, I remember I was with my friend Hiram. Oh, Lord. I was with my friend Hiram. And, uh, oh, look who's calling me right now, my good Judy Tanya. But anyway, I was with my um, friend Hiram, and Hiram's like 65, and I was like, I don't, Hiram, I've never been here before, I don't know what to get, and he goes, a Jim Dandy, of course, and I was like, what's a Jim Dandy? He's like, it's like a Big Mac, but not, it's like a Jim Dandy, and I was like, okay, so I get it, and it's truly like the poor person's Big Mac, I don't even know how else to explain it, it's so funny. I mean, it looks exactly like a Big Mac, but they have a different kind of special sauce, why did you have to come up with your own special sauce? It's called Thousand Island. But anyway, so we go to, and she's like, damn it, they close at nine. I wanted a Jim Dandy. So I was like, well, do you want to go to Perkins? And she's like, I mean, I'm not really hungry for Perkins, but we can go there if you want. So we drive, Perkins is closed at nine. So then she's like, but I don't really want Steak and Shake. And I go, I don't care. It doesn't matter anyway, because it's going to be totally packed. And so we drive by Steak and Shake, packed, okay? I mean, you couldn't even get in. People were waiting. Why would anybody wait that long for a patty milk and the shake? I mean, patty milk. <laughs> a patty melt and the shake. So she's like, well, let's go to Walmart. I mean, this is totally like our my Saturday night, right? So she's like, well, let's go to Walmart. I've got some things I need to get anyway. Walmart last night was like everybody in the world did their Christmas shopping. We went to Walmart and it was so packed last night. I just was like, what is going on with this gig? So she goes around, she gets all this stuff. We were there literally for like an hour and we come back to the aisle. She's like, oh my God, these lines are so long. And I was like, I know. And she's like, well, I'm just going to do the self-serve. We go to self-serve. There was literally probably 30 people all the way back down into the produce. And I was like, she goes, I can't do this. She just pushed her cart to the side and was like, I'm leaving. I was like, we need to put those things back, Tanya. She goes, no. She was like, I'm just leaving. I can't even handle this line. I was like, oh, we're bad Christians. <laughs> so anyway, we left and then we like drove around. We looked at some more Christmas lights and that was that. And then I dropped her off and I got home and I didn't really have anything to do. And I was like, well, should I go to the casino? I don't know. So anyway, I was so bored. And then I started watching. I had just finished American uh, Crime season one because I had already watched season two. Actually, both seasons are on Netflix. Oh, my God, you guys, that show is the best show in the entire world. But everybody had been telling me that they had been watching Shameless. Is that what it's called? Shameless. Yeah. 
you got to watch Shameless. you got to watch Shameless. So now, guess what? I have now fallen down into the hole that is Shameless. I'm like a couple episodes in, you guys. I'm totally obsessed with it. It's on Netflix, too. It's about this family and their dad's a drunk, William H. Macy, who I adore anyway. So anyway, I'm watching that. But then I was kind of like, well, I, gotta, I guess I'll get up on the YouTube, right? So I was going back through videos, and I was looking through this whole recommended video thing that's happening all of a sudden. I guess it's a scam. I don't know if it's a scam. I don't really care if it's a scam, how people's videos are getting recommended. But I can tell you, videos are getting recommended to me that I have no clue why they're getting recommended to me. Probably because I'm subscribed to some of them. <laughs> like, I, I came, this came up right now. Here, look. Nikki Tutorials, her uh, dick liner. And, and listen, I like Nikki Tutorials, okay? I think, I think she's gorgeous laid all day long. I think she looks kind of like Adele, don't you? But anyway, um... I love Adele. So, she does this. I watch this video, and it's called Trying Dick Liner. I don't know if you guys can see. I don't want to turn the video on, but can you see in the video where it's, like, right there? It's, like, this dick line. It's, like, a dick. I mean, apparently this is the new trend. What? Who? I, what? <laughs> like, who would want a dick in their eye? I mean, not in their eye. We, nobody wants that. I mean, do you really want a dick in your eye? <laughs> but who wants a dick on their eye? That doesn't even make any sense. I don't even think that's cute or sexy. And so then I was like, <clears throat> well, I know that Nikki and Manny and Jeffrey and all them are all good friends. So didn't Manny do a video like this? And I couldn't really remember what the video was. Because to be really honest with you, I, to, be little, little, to be really honest, I watched like two minutes of his video that he did. And I was like, whoo so bored that I was like, oh no, enough. But I go back in, and so I looked, and Manny did this video. I, I can't believe I can't find it. I just looked it up. Oh, here it is. You can even see. The first search in my camera is Manny MUA Dick Stick, which that's not even what it's called. It's called uh, Trying Out Lip Dicks. And he's like this. <laughs> if you think I'm lying, I'm crying. And I ain't crying, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so basically what his um, thumbnail is that has not been taken down is him giving head to a very small penis lipstick. Because <laughs> we all need to see that, Manny. But anyway, I love his, like, profile picture, don't you? What do you think Manny... Uh, what do you think Manny's deep in thought about? Uh, <sighs> Should I buy more Kylie Jenner Limp Pump? But anyway, so I watched that video and I was like... Why are all the, I mean, like, okay, it's December, and it's, like, views month, it's, like, sweeps month, or whatever on YouTube somebody said, so, like, does everybody think that if I put dick in the title, that's gonna get me views, because if it is, guess what? You came for the title, baby, and this is all about the dick! <laughs> so, whatever. I remember years ago, you guys know I've worked with teenagers for years, right? And I remember that I was, like, talking to this kid, he was, like, in college, though, I think, he was, like, 20. Yeah, he was like 20 and for some reason he was talking about like back in the day like when he was younger and like he and his friends would watch porn and he started laughing and he was like there's always that one guy that like watches porn for the dick and I'm like what are you talking about and he was like there's always that one guy that's like DL gay but he won't come out to his friends and so like if you're sitting around watching porn that you would like that he's the one like you can just tell because he gets real nervous and he's like moving around <laughs> his seat and I'm like oh yeah that was me so anyway <laughs> But I don't really remember watching porn with my friends ever. Like, is that a thing? People sit around and watch porn together? PewDiePie in his newest video said that, like, porn is being suggested in the YouTube links. What? I mean, yeah, I just proved it. <laughs> with Nikki Tutorials and Manny MUA. <laughs> There's my picture. And Manny MUA. <laughs> oh, Lord, you guys. This whole YouTube thing, it just cracks me up so much. I can't believe that Jeffree Star hasn't done a video about it. I mean, now, Nikki Tutorials did a video about it. Patrick Star, he hasn't done a video about it, has he? I don't watch Patrick Star's videos, and I really don't watch Manny and UA's videos, and I really don't watch Nikki Tutorials' videos. You know why? I do not understand this makeup drama, you guys. I swear to God, I thought, like, makeup was something that you went to, like, Macy's, and you brought your mom the real pretty kit, and it had, like, fit. I didn't even know that thing was called a palette. I mean, I swear to God, you guys, I was so clueless. Back in the day, I'd ask my mom and be like, well, Mom, what do you want for Christmas? I mean, do you want me to buy you some makeup? Oh, I just hit the camera. I was like, Mom, do you want you guys you guys want to see my fancy uh, <laughs> baby I'm so fake let me just show you my fake tripod are you ready there you go but anyway um and somebody will say oh that has your social security card on it no it's not it's a disability and SSI appeals and it has a number on it for an attorney it's not my social security number but anyway um <laughs> Aren't I cute? But I can remember back in the day, I'd be like, Mom, do you mean buy you, like, lipstick or something for Christmas? She'd be like, no, baby. Like, you will you won't pick the right one. I know what I like. And she always, my mom always wore Clinique Salmon Ice. 
like for 30 years. I can remember opening the bathroom like drawer and like our downstairs we have like this like um what do you call it when it's downstairs? Why can't I think of what that's called? powder room. We had like this powder room downstairs and I can remember you'd open the drawer and there'd be like 30 empty bottles. Like I don't know why she didn't show them away, throw them away. 30 empty tubes of Clinique, that green tube of like Sam and Ice. Sam and Ice is like the worst lipstick. If you wear it, I'm sorry but it's like the worst lipstick color in the entire world. That's what my mom wore. I was always like mom, why do you do that? And let me tell you something else that my mom did because she was a booty guru just like me. We, I, Like I said, she didn't wear very much makeup. Eyeliner and lipstick. That was it baby. And gorge all day long. And I can remember back in the day my mom when she was walking out the door she'd go like this she'd like look at her eyes and she put on her lipstick and then she'd go <sighs> and she'd rub in lipstick and I go what are you doing she's like a little bit of rouge in my cheeks I go that's lipstick she goes it's all the same thing baby can you imagine if she did a video like that on here oh my god Melissa Autry would come for her all day long I love Melissa Autry but Melissa Autry would be like girl did you see that girl she did put the lipstick on her cheeks but my mom would do that and then what was so funny like sometimes she would forget to rub in one side so you would go somewhere and like you wouldn't see that side of her until you got there and you'd be like mom you have like a lipstick streak on the side of your face what are you doing and she'd be like I'm a booty guru <laughs> wasn't oh I miss my mom she was so funny who does that do you guys do any of you out there do that and will actually admit that you put lipstick on your face because that's crazy town if you do that okay anyway Woo, you guys it's been a crazy 24 hours go watch these dick videos they crack my shit up I don't understand them who would ever wear lipstick that looked like penises why would you ever can you imagine whipping that out at a party actually that would be kind of funny wouldn't it but anyway I love you guys go follow my so-called healthy life my weight loss journey it's just so exciting and follow me on all my social media I respond to you guys all of you guys I love you and I will talk to you later if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. I'll talk to you later. Bye.